I'm going to show you how to capture HDMI game footage from a game console using the Elgato HD60S capture device so that you can later use the gameplay footage in a video. You'll have to have a computer nearby, so I'm going to bring over my laptop. Now we need to connect some cables. Take the USB-C cord that came with the Elgato and plug the small end of it into this small port right here. This next part is where a lot of people go wrong. Plug the other end of that USB cord into a USB 3.0 or above port. The device will not work properly if it's not at least 3.0. If you see any that are blue, those are definitely 3.0 or above. But a lot of newer computers will not use that color coding. You'll just have to check the specs of your computer. One way to do that is to go to Device Manager and then go to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And if you see any that are marked 3.0 in that section, you have them. I'll also mention that if you don't have the original USB cable that came with the Elgato, you'll have to get one that is rated at least 10 gigabytes per second. It cannot be a simple charging cord. Next, take the HDMI cord that's coming from the game console and put it into the N port on the Elgato, which is right next to where you plugged in the USB cord. Then take another HDMI cord, plug one end into the out port on the Elgato, and the other end into one of the HDMI inputs on the back of the TV. Then make sure that input is selected through the TV interface. Turn on the computer and the game system. The footage from the game should appear on the TV. Right now it's just passing through the Elgato, but you can't record it yet because you have to have some software on your computer to do it. There's many that are compatible with the Elgato, including what you see here, which is the 4K capture utility, which is available for free on the Elgato website. But I recommend you skip that and use OBS instead, which I'll be using for the rest of this video. That one's free as well, and you can just get it directly off the internet. So get OBS installed and running. You may or may not see footage of the game already showing up on the screen. On the computer screen, I mean. If it isn't there, you need to go down to this area and make sure one of the rows says Video Capture Device. To add it, click the plus symbol select video capture device and then click OK. Then click on it to highlight it. Click the gear symbol and make sure the HD60 is selected. If not, update it and click OK. With the game footage on the screen, you can then drag the border of it and resize it. If you still don't see the footage, just make sure that you didn't accidentally click the eyeball beside game capture because that turns it off. If there's any other devices listed in that section, you can try turning their eyeballs off as well. They may be overriding your video footage. If you have a USB camera, you can put yourself on the screen beside your gameplay. Just click the plus sign, select video capture device again, Click OK, then highlight that second video capture device. Click the gears, select the camera from the drop down. You should now see yourself on the screen. The cool thing is that OBS will remember everything you've done so far, so you won't have to do these things over again. The audio mixer section is where people make a lot of mistakes. Make sure the video capture device audio is on. If this speaker symbol here is white, that means it's on. You can also use the slider to adjust the volume coming from the game. If you want to use a microphone as you play the game, plug it into the computer, then go to mic slash AUX, make sure the speaker symbol is white, then click the three dots, click properties, and then select the name of the microphone in this section. It may already say it. If there's anything else in the audio mixer section, turn it off. Your computer may have a microphone built into it, and you don't want it to pick up the background noise. We are almost ready to record, but first I'm going to go to File, Settings, Output. These are my output settings. Most important is the recording quality. I choose indistinguishable quality. 
I tried the next level up, which is lossless quality, but my computer could not handle it because the file sizes were too big. Another important field on this page is the recording path. This is where your files are going to land once you're done recording. So set this to wherever you want them to go. For recording format, I choose MP4. It does give me a warning saying if I choose MP4, the file may become corrupted. I do short recordings, so for me it's not that much of a risk. If I lose something, I just re-record it. But if you don't want to risk it, choose MKV as your file type. But then after recording, you have to do an extra step. If you choose MKV, you have to go to File, Remux Recordings, and then proceed with converting the file to an MP4. Another set of important settings is the video section. I have it set to 3840 by 2160 with 60 frames per second. This is sufficient for the modern consoles I record, but if you're recording from an older game system, you can lower some of these numbers. I suggest you research the game and the system you wish to record and try to match what the output of that is. If you're gonna later edit your video, be sure to render it at the same setting as you recorded it at. So if you recorded at 60 frames per second, make sure you render the video at 60 frames per second. To start recording your gameplay in OBS, just click start recording, then proceed to play the game while looking at the television screen. If you look at the computer screen while you play, there's gonna be a delay in your response. If you have a powerful computer, you might be able to pull it off, but I recommend you look at the TV. When you're done, just click stop recording. It may have to think for a little bit, but eventually it'll spit out a file for you and you'll find it in the folder that you specified on the output settings screen. That's all I had today. If you have any tips to add in regards to capturing HDMI footage, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Have a good day, everybody.